Okay, boys and girls, this is Chapter 5, Section 7, Subtract Linear Expressions. Now, um, as you're probably guessing, the only difference between this and adding linear expressions is literally an addition sign versus a subtraction sign. So, this is the same as the last section, and the last section was adding linear expressions, but it's with a subtraction sign versus an addition sign. So, we'll use the same example we used last section. 2x plus 3. This time we're going to have a minus x minus 4. Now, just like I said last time, right here, if there's no number preceding this group of terms here, then what I want you to do is I want you to think of the minus sign as minus 1 and just put a 1 in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to distribute the minus 1. So, using that same exact example, 2x plus 3 minus x minus 4, what you're going to do is put a 1 in right there. And then you're going to say, okay, this is 2x plus 3. Right here, I have different signs, so I put a minus. 1 times x is x. Same signs, so I put a plus, and 1 times 4 is 4. Now, 2x's minus an x is going to leave 1x. And 3 plus 4 is going to be positive 7. So our answer is x plus 7. Here's another one for us to try. 2x minus 1 minus x minus 5. So again, I put a 1 right here. I have 2x minus 1. Here, the signs are different, so I put minus. 1 times x is x. Here, the signs are the same, so I put a plus, and 1 times 5 is 5. And now I have 2x's minus an x. That leaves 1x. I have negative 1 plus 5. So in a calculator, if you were to type in negative 1 plus 5, you would end up getting a positive 4. So we just write the positive 4, and there's our answer. One more to try. Let's say we had 2 times 4x plus 1 minus 3 times x minus 2. Now, this time, we don't, we don't have a missing spot here, so we're not going to add a 1. There's already a number there, so we're going to use that for distributed property. And we also have a number here this time, so we're going to use that for distributed property as well. Well, these are the same sign, and 2 times 4x is 8x. Right here, we have the same sign, so we have a plus, and 2 times 1 is 2. Here, we have different signs, because if there's nothing in front of this x, that's a positive x. So when the signs are different, put a minus. 3 times x is 3x. And right here, same signs, so we put a plus, and 3 times 2 is 6. To wrap this up, we've got 8x minus 3x's, and 8 minus 3 is 5, so 8x minus 3x is 5x. And right here, I have plus 2 and plus 6. 2 plus 6 is 8, so we have plus 8. And that is subtracting linear expressions.